5,000 year old dance meets the internet. The blog queen of Taiwan and Argentina turns 200. I'm Pamela Woon and this is Yahoo News Bite. So this is what I do at work, but I think we all should be channeling our inner Beyonce sometimes. I actually know a single lady. Her name is Illy Chen. She's known as the queen, the Sex in the City Carrie Bradshaw of Taiwan. We'll get to her in a second. But for you guys out there, here's my advice. If you like it, then you should put a ring on it. My name is Illy, and but, but my name in internet is Queen. I've become very popular writing some love stories about myself and others and them. And then maybe two years ago, some published house asked me, hey, Queen, you want to publish a book? But I, I never think, oh really, can I do that? But I just published the first one, this one. So the, the name of the book is I'm Queen. And this book is talking about love love story, relationship. My friend, they say, is like uh, sex and city in Taiwan. <laughs> so it's very popular. So then I quit my job to be a writer. Yeah, so it really changed my life. In Taiwan, there are many bloggers like me or writers. They, they writing in website, in Yahoo, and then they become a popular people. So, Really thank you for Yahoo <laughs> to change my life and uh, making everything different. Everyone needs Yahoo, really. <laughs> Yahoo, you are the king. I'm queen. <laughs> Yahoo announced this week the acquisition of associated content. The online content publisher is a collective of bloggers and experts which will enhance our social, mobile, local, and media offerings. Yahoo is celebrating Argentina's bicentennial. Go to this site and take a tour of the country's rich history and renowned cuisine. Someone once said, dance is the hidden language of the soul. And if that's true, Lin Huan Min has got a lot of soul. He's the founder and creative director of the world acclaimed Cloudgate Dance Theater. And he was recently chosen as one of Time Magazine's Asian heroes. Cloud Gate is the name of a legendary dance which is supposed to exist about 5,000 years ago. We have no way to know about its steps, but the name itself has great historical significance. We really connect people through performing. We breathe together with the audience, but somehow the audience is in the darkness. I don't read their faces. I don't hear their voice. We, we don't really talk. But somehow, with, through Yahoo, uh, I encountered so many questions that shows they are interested in us. They are concerned, which is a good experience. Cloudgate tour around the world, and we got solar houses and standing ovations in all cities. And but I think somehow Yahoo connects all these places. I think we encountered a, a gentleman in New York and then he said, I'm so happy that I come to see this because I live in Zurich and uh, I saw your work on television and I always want to catch up with you. And then I learn from Yahoo, you are giving a performance in New York. So I made, I made my business appointment uh, two weeks earlier to catch you. You see, Yahoo really makes problems, isn't it? <laughs> Make people to shuffle and reschedule their life. <laughs> When Mr. Lin took part in Yahoo's Interview with Leaders project, one of the participants was the president of Taiwan. That's it for this week's News Bites. Here are some of the stories we're working on for upcoming shows. We'll take News Bites to the Big Apple, plus we'll meet some women who are all about online fantasy sports. 
Those stories and a whole lot more next week on Yahoo News Bites. Thanks for watching.